You know, I was asked this past June to speak at a conference for uh, homeschoolers, and one of the things that they asked me to speak about is how we can turn America around. And one of my opening statements is we might not be able to turn America around. Certainly it doesn't seem that way. We don't seem to be winning any moral and spiritual battles nationally. But the point that I make that is so critical is that the Church has been here before. You know, sometimes uh, Christians believe that Church history began with the first Billy Graham crusade, Mm -hmm. and they don't understand that throughout history... I'm writing a book on the Reformation, and I'm doing a chapter on freedom of religion in Europe. Many people don't understand that Europe itself didn't even have freedom of religion until 1648. So the idea that we can turn things around, you know, God, as I say, may do that through a real inrush of the Holy Spirit across the land. But throughout ages, Christians have always lived under persecution, without freedom of religion, and they've not been able to turn their country around. I suppose some of God's best believers are uh, people in China, for example, the Christians in China. They haven't been able to turn China around. Now, things are maybe getting better, they can have a positive influence, but just because, even if we live faithfully as Christians, and I pray we will, That doesn't mean that we're somehow guaranteed that we can turn America around. That through the gospel and through uh, godly politicians, that might happen. Right now, I'm finding it difficult to see it happen.